All right, you double timers and double dudettes. Double du- <laughs> double time. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the podcast. We missed you. We love you, and we appreciate you being here again. Remember to listen to Smithy's Radio on one twenty one KSMF. Guys, there's nine days left till the jelly drop. Two days till jelly when you guys are watching this. Well, when this is uploaded. Which means you've seen everything. You've seen yeah. the track list. Yeah. You've seen the album cover. You've seen all, mostly all the promo, at least the pre-promo. We're going to have lots of post-promo after, but. So you've seen Diet Smith and uh, hopefully electric. electric by that time. Yeah, the cool. Yeah. And seen the some, album commercial. The album commercial. Yeah. You've seen some cool things. I need to make that. <laughs> Um, but there is more on, <laughs> there's more on the way. I'm sure. Um, is. so yeah, a lot more coming after the drop. Um, we're not just going to drop it and then disappear like we have done with most of our releases. Um, yeah, we're getting better at this. I think I speak for yourself. <laughs> I still, I, I got two weeks to write it. I got like a week to write a song. That's true. Yeah. The, the, uh, the deluxe is not done and it, should be uploaded in two days. If we were going to be on proper schedule, uh, it should be uploaded in two days, but it's not going to be. So, I want the songs to be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, to be yeah, good. we're behind, but it's because we want them to be good. We don't yeah. want to just get it done to get it done. We want it to be good. Well, it'll still come out on time, I think. It'll, it, yeah, it'll come out on time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of just like the Jelly Hype episode. Um, jelly! Oh, my God. No. Jelly! jelly! So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like Ryan said, you guys have basically seen it, most of the pr- uh, the pre promo, um, but yeah, like like I said, lots more to come. There will be deluxe. Um, we'll just say the drop date because this is literally like. I mean, yeah. Every time one of these episodes comes out, it's like, have we released the track list yet? And it's like that yeah. came out two weeks ago, man. Yeah. yeah. Um. So deluxe will be coming out two weeks after the non deluxe, so May twenty seventh. Woo. Um. Hopefully. We are filming this, obviously, in advance, so we don't know if this has <laughs> happened yet. But hopefully, there will also be a Jelly live performance uploaded the Friday after Jelly, so the 20th. So it'll go album drop, live performance video, deluxe. Hopefully. If not, then it'll just go album, two weeks later, deluxe album. But we want to do Jelly live performance for you guys we want to do something at least. Yeah, something video-wise. Because we didn't want to do another big budget music video, mostly because we don't have the big budget. <laughs> it's, it's Yeah. Moving kind of took the, the cake on the budget. Worth it, but, but it yeah. kind of blew our album budget. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We want to do like sort of our own music video, which would just be a live. Also, you guys have, haven't like seen us like actually play live. You saw the Somewhere in the Snow acoustic, but that was rough <laughs> i mean one it was when we were like just doing yeah. just starting but also i mean, just bad yeah not the vibe this would be like a cinematic multi-cam properly mixed like just like a live set like if you watch like you know your favorite big artists like perform like double, live. oh not double uh, vision. Well, yeah, they haven't double, done it yet yeah well yeah that's, one, yeah. one day you'll be able to say i watch double visions live thing yeah, yeah i know what this looks like like when you guys watch bigger artists perform live and like they do they put out like a video from tour it'll be like that like properly mixed like live different uh instrumentation like just vibey um so we want to do that with if jelly it happens yeah if it if it works if it, if it happens if it works and if it happens we th- i think we should be fine it's literally just if the if like if the technology aspect of mm-hmm. it works if that part works we'll sorry I think if we'll you're one of those people who are triggered by that <laughs> i, I you know what I'm saying though? Like I don't think it's gonna be an us thing. I think it's gonna be like hopefully all the technology. Is it's like, technology and timing. Yeah, <laughs> That's, can, which yeah. is what everything always is. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully that will. So work. instead of talking about what might not happen, let's talk about what will well, happen. Well, okay. I'm just I'm setting the schedule here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and we might even do second date live because I think second date live would be very fun. No, I guess I yeah. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so that's the plan. Like I said, we don't, you know, hopefully. This is all th- theoretical, but we'd like it to happen. Um yeah, multicam like properly mixed vibey video, hopefully cool lighting too. Um we're probably going to try to do it in the evening or night so we can have some more light control. No. 
Nah. Middle of the day. Mi- yeah, midday, blazing sun. sun. Nice sunlight. It's Arizona summer. Yeah. All our all our gear out on Zane's backyard just yeah. frying. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Because our music is so... F- yeah, our music is so hot. Uh, also... <laughs> Over all this today, <laughs> basically. Okay. Uh, new lighting setup. We're going for a little Ooh. darker theme for the uh, the jelly pre-release. Um, if you're listening, it's like the pink and blue that we usually have on our faces, except more intense. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening, you should honestly go to YouTube and let it play. Also, there's a way to upload videos to Spotify. Joe Rogan does it, and Anchor has the platform, we, the distributor we use for our podcast has a video option. So. I'm going to try that for this episode. If you're seeing a video on Spotify, then it worked. If not, then go to YouTube. And I will still be continuing to give audio descriptions. Jelly release party. We might film that. It'd be fun. It'd be a fun video. Yeah, we're going to have a little, a little time. It's not a party. It is it's, a, it's a, it a double vision team, team exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. People who have helped work on Jelly, a little a little Friday re- release party thing, just to like celebrate that we got through a year's work of worth. Or a year's worth of work. There you go. And Jelly happened. Because Jelly is cool. Jelly is cool. I think. Which is also why we wanted to do it live. One, just because you guys haven't seen us do anything like this. Um, and these songs are like high energy, you know, they're like performance songs. They're like, we could, a tour of this would be sick. If we were that big, I mean, a, yeah. a Jelly tour would be crazy. But, you know, they're not like mellow songs. Like Missile to Love, like it's a nice like campfire, fireside It's album. a section of a tour. Yeah. But it's not like the tour. Yeah. But Jelly is like smashing drums you know thumping bass it's 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 loud it's a louder it's a, album yeah. so yeah we want to bring these songs to life with this the live stuff and we're gonna do the two best songs actually i don't know if jelly is the second best second day is best but i don't know wow well i don't know yeah i just don't know what else would be start <laughs> yeah i just don't know what else what else would be i think the track list no probably jelly right probably yeah yeah because yeah. all the other songs suck so yeah so whatever yeah. But yeah, we also want to do it because we want to just get better at being live because yeah. live shows would be cool to do at some point. Yeah. At any, you know, size. Yeah. Just fun to do. Yeah. And cool for you guys to see. And if they're like if it sounds good enough, like mixing wise, then we might even do like a little like jelly live EP on Spotify. I think yeah, well, we got to we got to sound good first. Yeah, so. yeah, we <laughs> so it's a lot of a lot of what ifs. <laughs> so after Jelly Drops, we got 2 weeks until Deluxe. And Deluxe, we've already talked about it as Two extra songs, which one of them is like a half song, and some extra Smithy's radios that are like fun, give some context to the Smithy universe. Um, but the two songs, I'm sure it's not, I don't know, we're not releasing them at this point, but you you can find them on social media. The names are out there. They're called Bubbles is one of them, and then the other one is called Moving On. Is on social media? Yeah, you had a TikTok where you show the bo- your board and it says, it says oh, all the, yeah, all the, yeah. All the stuff. Yeah, if you care enough and to look at my progress board, you can see all the deluxe tracks. Um, yeah, Bubbles and Moving On are the two like songs? extra songs. Uh, we yeah. still want to do the mashup of like all of Jelly. Yeah. If we can get that to work, another yeah. hypothetical. Yeah. I'd really like that one though. Yeah, that would be fun. That one would be fun to do. Uh, then, the, yeah, there's the extra Smithy's radios that give context to the world and bring back our two favorite radio hosts of Smithy's yeah. Radio. Yeah. Let me just uh, promo real fast. Yeah, classic. If you are listening, we are holding up our Smithy's Radio logo mugs. I don't know how well this is showing up. It probably light. won't. Yeah. Also, it will be out of focus. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it right next to you. Bubbles is like a fun little beachy song because we're getting into summer now. Yeah, Since Bubbles is like the summer song. Yeah, it's our summer song, 80s summer song. Yeah, not really. I wouldn't say beachy. It's just like... It, yeah, it's just kind of like summer vibes. Yeah. And moving on is kind of meta. It's yeah. Double Vision moving on from the moving 80s after like, a year of nonstop work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Moving on is us saying goodbye to the 80s era and hello to non... Well, I don't know about non-themed, but just not 80s music anymore. Not an album for a while. Yeah, not an album for a while. <laughs> we just want to release some singles, man. We're going to be doing a lot of singles. Um, hopefully, uh, I don't know if we should go that far into it, but yeah, sing- only singles for the rest of the year from Double Vision. And once the deluxe drops, yeah, moving on is just our way of saying we're not doing uh, 80s anymore. Yeah, moving on is, it's a, it's a fun little thing. There's some, like, actual, like, song part in it. Yeah. But it's also, like, some talk. It's kind <laughs> of like we're ending our tour. Yeah, yeah. Moving on is, like, yeah, like, literally, it's like, if we were to be playing this on tour, this is how it would end. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's funny. It's like, yeah, it's a fun thing. Yeah. More than, like. And it transitions to one of our upcoming songs. 
Wow, really, so, really <laughs> releasing all of our <laughs> Dude, secrets no, here. No, because we gotta say that because no one's gonna put two and two together. Right. Well, we're not that big yet. I'm sorry if you were gonna put two and two together. Yeah. If you, this, if you, yeah, the end of moving on will transition into one of Double Vision's upcoming singles. Yeah, so it's kind of cool if you cue it right in Spotify. So, will it make sense? No, not at all. But <laughs> yeah, it will transition. But it transition, so it's fine. So we are world building with Smithy and Double Vision. Like it will all make a lot more sense when some of our project ideas actually come to life and you know are released. But there is like we're like making lore. I mean, even with, like, the promo stuff we've been doing for yeah. this. Like, like, if you look, there's things that add up. Specifically with Smithy, I would say. I mean, Smithy. <laughs> every, Smithy is, like, a recurring is theme. Um, I mean, we've got Diet Smith. Yeah, Diet Smith. Uh, with the electric commercial, you've got your, your flavors, your Smithy yeah, Sour Apple. And it's Smithy just, shows up everywhere. Yeah, and if you look, uh, it's on my, like, promo photo post on Instagram. I haven't posted yet, but mm, of course. Uh, if you look at the distributor, it says Smith Corp Industries and Enterprise. So it's just like, <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. just like little Easter eggs, but a lot of it is like hidden, like the world building. Yeah, a lot of it. I mean, we talked about this in episode two, but it's like a lot of it is you right now. You really have to look for it if you want to look for it, because yeah. we're trying to set up things so far in the future. Yeah. Like in five years when some of our projects have like come out and are like making more sense in the sense of like us world building with this, you will look back at this jelly problem and be like, Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Moving like, on transitions to a song five years from now. <laughs> no, it's not that. Oh Dude. no. Okay. I'm just saying that, like the themes of it. Like yeah. Smithy. Like once we release a lot of our, like just like our, just video stuff, not even like yeah, really, it's not even really music stuff. Like it is double vision themed, but it's not like, it's not Music. songs, yeah. It's just like it's more visual projects and like films and videos that do the world building, but the songs reference it sometimes. Like in my solo song "Streetlight Reflections," one of the ad libs is "Looking Smith" or is it feeling or looking? Looking Smithy. Yeah, looking Smithy Smithy. So it's just like recurring <laughs> themes. <laughs> looking but, Smithy Smithy. <laughs> yeah, but it'll all make sense like when these projects come out and yeah, then it'll be like, whoa, they planned this five years ago. So yeah, it'll be cool. Th- like the music is fun and music is like number one. But I I just love a good world building. Like, yeah. Like it just it just it keeps it fun. Yeah. Okay. Finally, I have permission to talk about my EP. Uh, so last time I updated you guys on that, there were two and a half songs done, with however many being undetermined. It is now confirmed that it is going to be, actually semi confirmed, it's going to be five songs, and. I'm planning on maybe early August release. I'm not exactly sure yet, but third third quarter of the year is is what I'm aiming for right now. Q3. Yeah, Q3. It's 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 projected for Q3. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it, it's something. We're we're working on it. Me and the team, of course. I honestly don't really know how it sounds. I only know two of the songs. Yeah, because I'm working on it a lot with like Zane while he's working on Jelly. Yeah. Because you Zane know, has kind of become like producer man number two. It's yeah, he's like yeah, yeah. he's working. I, Zane's really good at like working with me on like from the ground up. Like we've been me and Zane have been doing stuff for ever. We've made some really bad songs <laughs> in in the past, but yeah, like he he helps me get like the basics of what I want because I don't know how to produce. I this is this is why I need him. Yeah, for audio listeners, I'm pointing to Noah right now. <laughs> I <Okay. laughs> now okay. is, that, is that too far? Yeah, my bad. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to produce stuff. Like, I can play guitar and I can write words down in a book, but I'm not good at like getting my thoughts out. So, you know, Zane is good for like, you should put strings here or like this needs like a harmony or something. So, I've been working on Zane. I've, I've not been working on Zane. I've been working with Zane. <laughs> Damn. So I've been working with Zane on this EP, and. Yeah, he knows what it sounds like because he's been working on it with me. Zane, uh, Noah doesn't know what it sounds like really yeah, at all. I, yeah, I only know two of the songs. I mean, they're, yeah, they're good, but like, I just don't know what any of the rest of it sounds like. Yeah, so... And I've also just been busy with Jelly. Yeah, <laughs> like, like <laughs> once once Jelly is done, then I'm sure you'll come more into yeah. it. But And yeah. I'm going to be the one like actually mixing it and like finalizing it. But Zane is just more of like the organic producer of it. And like just yeah, like you said, building it from the ground up. Yeah. But then Ryan will sort of tell me like how he wants it mixed and like how it, he wants it to sound. And together we're the DVT. DVT at the DVHQ. Yeah, at the DVHQ. Of in New York Smithy. In New York Smithy. See, New York Smithy will add up in however many years when we do this one project. <laughs> yeah. Just wait until New York Smithy comes yeah, back. Yeah, New York Smithy. I'm calling. Yeah, right now, first time we're saying it. And yeah, the Statue of Smithy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Just you. Just wait. And, and it's Lord pointing. Bronze <laughs> yeah. Lord from Electric. What? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So the EP. If I if I'll talk about it a little bit more. Do I have permission to talk about it a little bit more? No. So. I don't know the best vibe. I like the best way I can try to describe it is like Broadway musical theater. But since theater gets like such a bad rap, I don't want to say that. I'm scared of saying that. But like we talked about how it's more like me going back to my roots, but it's not like me playing guitar. There's one there's one song with me playing guitar. But it's like strings and piano ballads and like that kind of vibe, you know? It's kind of just like chill, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I'd like I don't I don't know the best I, vibe I for it. I I'd, I'd say like theatrical. Yeah, because it's almost sort of like okay when I sure. hear when I hear this one song that I cannot reveal yet. Um, we'll reveal it in, by the, by this point. The title will probably be out. So. <laughs> when I hear this one song, I always just like envision like the like the character who's like singing it being like meta and like knowing that they're singing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like well, they know that like they're being filmed, but they're like still singing it, like as if it was like. So, sort of like a high school musical kind of thing where like it's a musical but you're watching it happen yeah like, like that's what i think of it's just like theatrical like yeah someone like sitting on stage single spotlight playing the piano yeah like who but, like, would actually do that by themselves stage. unless it was yeah. like for something you know what i mean like they they want to be heard yeah you know yeah that's what that's what, i so don't that's, know like i think that's the vibe to, i'm going for yeah. i don't know i still got time to figure it out right now i'm working on jelly i don't yeah. i don't know man yeah i don't yeah i don't know how really we would describe that but you know what i mean yeah, well, we'll definitely have more EP updates in the coming weeks and months while we get closer to actually finishing that. Yeah. But right now, it's jelly time. Yeah. And then, yeah, Adapt is sounding good. I have been mixing it, remixing it slowly and surely, making it sound good, and adding a lot of new production elements. So it'll basically sound like just like a leveled up version of the song, which is kind of the point of redoing it. Yeah. We're not using like the same instrumental or anything. Like we're adding all a bunch of new stuff, totally mixing it differently, so it actually is mixed well. Uh, there will be all new vocals um, and a music video. Hopefully, I don't know how that's gonna happen because Cleany's gone, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, our videographer is gone for the summer, so we gotta hurry up. But I'm actually a pro videographer, so it's whatever. <laughs> We'll make it work. Actually, I'll rephrase that. Our gimbal, our our uh, source of a gimbal is gone uh, for the summer. Okay. So is that all she is to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, yep. She's just a gimbal. I'll just start calling her gimbal. In high school, uh, some people girl. called her. They called her gimbal girl. Gimbal girl. Yeah, that's what I'll call her. Yeah. <laughs> no, just yeah. Our uh, our other camera person is gone for the summer. Not that I don't love you, but. You don't have I'm not very good at holding a camera <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> so. We'll figure it out. Yeah. That's how, of, we, how we usually do. We, a lot we of usually figuring it out. figure things out. Uh, guys, we've been seeing some numbers on Instagram on our reels. So thank you for that. We've been starting to get into like the mid 10,000s range on our views. And the page has gotten like 50 followers in the past like week, which is pretty good for us. So thank you for that. Uh, TikTok, I cannot say the same. <laughs> We're I, just doing. I do not like TikTok. We just we pre-produce stuff. Yeah, that's we not exactly yeah, the vibe on TikTok. Yeah, and we just do a lot of trending sounds, so no one really knows like who we are, what we do. Yeah, which is fine. So, but hopefully that that'll change now that he's out of school and Jelly is almost done, and we can promote it. <laughs> yeah, and say that it's actually promote out. It and and people can actually listen to the music instead of just hearing the ten second yeah. thing. I, yeah, I think that's one of the problems. Is like people would find us and like. They'd right like, now we have like three songs out. Yeah, they'd like what they hear, and then they'd go to our thing, and they'd just see Missile to Love, and then Electric and Moving. So <laughs> and it's like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, once it's out, and we can make a bunch of content around it, I think that'll hopefully help it. Uh, yeah, make sure you are streaming Jelly on all platforms this Friday the thirteenth, and pre-saving it now. Pre-saving on it now. Wednesday the yes eleventh. Yes, pre-save it because it really helps us algorithmically. It helps Spotify to push it out to other people more and put it on their release radar. And it helps you radar. see it whenever it comes out. Yeah, it helps you. Yeah, it'll pop up on your thing, on your feed when it comes out. It'll be on other people's release radar, which is really good for us algorithmically. So it really helps us. All you have to do is type in your email and password. It's really not that hard. Um, <laughs> Damn. Well, if you Sorry. say it like that. Then Dude, I'm a little frustrated. The page is at like 200 views and only 20 people have pre-saved it. This guy. <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. Vision's the mean one. <laughs> And when I say vision, I mean Noah. 
I, I'm right. I'm the nice yeah, one. He's double. I'm vision. Uh, pre-saving helps us. That's yeah. just the the life of being in the music industry. It's annoying to have to ask, but not in like terms of I don't. I can't believe people don't do it. It's just like it sucks that we have to ask in the first place because otherwise yeah. no one will see our music. I don't want to post pre-save this every day. I mean, yeah, it's but like we don't it, want to do it, but it but it, it does work. Yeah, it helps Spotify to push our stuff out to other people. So, so if you'd be so kind as to yeah. pre-save Jelly, uh, listen to some of our stuff on our account because we have a lot of the like little snippets of songs. See yeah. if there's something you like because there's really a lot. Like, there's something for everyone on this album. I think. Like, if you yeah. like the '80s, well, if you don't like the '80s, you probably won't like the album. Even that though, it's like it's just modern. Like, it's it's not even like super like retro sense. '80s. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. It's like poppy. It's more poppy, honestly. Pop and R and B and funk. So yeah. Which who doesn't who doesn't if like, you like funk one songs? Of then just pre save the album, check it out. And if you don't like it, then don't listen to it. I don't know. Yeah. Like yeah, it's really not like But we do appreciate it's not trying I'd say it's not trying too hard to be eighties. Yeah. It's, it's just like, like an album that's je- the It's just like 80s. a little retro sonically. Yeah. But it's still like modern concepts and like vibes. So yeah, so pre save jelly. Feel right free now. to pre save jelly. Listen now. to it on Friday and listen to it on Friday, and share it around, and yeah, spread the word because we worked on this for a long time and we really like it, and we hope you do too. Yeah, we hope you like it. So, I think that's all, right? I think that's everything. I think that's everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So jelly nine p.m. PST midnight if you're in the east. 9 p.m. PST on Thursday the 12th. Yes, yeah, on Thursday the 12th. Midnight, 12 a.m. Thursday to 13th, night going into Friday morning. If you're just on the like East Coast. every other big artist releasing, Thursday night into Friday morning. 9 p.m. on Thursday, midnight on Friday, Eastern. All platforms. And it, there will also be individual song videos uploaded to YouTube if you don't have any uh, streaming platforms. So check it out. Like we said, there will not be a music video on drop day. If there is a video at all, it will be on the 20th, a week after. Nice little median in between the regular album and deluxe album. And same time for deluxe album, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., 12 a.m. But we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll see you next time on everyone's favorite show, Double Time! Double time!